Hey, Brian here, and I want to reach out to you in this video because I feel very fortunate today to be here, to be shooting this video for you, to be talking to you, and bottom line, to be alive, because something happened last week that um, could have gone very differently. Now, some of you might know that I love classic cars, and so I was driving my 1967 Mercury Cougar to the coffee shop in the morning to grab a, a cold drink before I had some calls, and as I was leaving the coffee stand, the car lurched and jerked and pulled to the right really hard and stopped. And I got out and looked, and my right tire, you can see in this photo right here, the right tire had broken off the car and was wedged under the frame. And I was going only a couple miles per hour, yet I, yet the impact was pretty jarring when this happened. And uh, got the car home, found out that the axle had broke. The axle had broke right where it meets with the tire, but in further investigation, what I found and what I had some other people look at is we found a design flaw in the axle. Now keep in mind, this axle was probably 60 years old, but there was a design flaw that had slowly been wearing away. That axle had a crack that was two thirds of the way through it. Two thirds of the way through it, and you could see it in the metal. It was only a matter of time before this thing failed. Now, I love to drive this car. I drive this car every single day, 50, sometimes more miles a day. And where I live, there's some back roads on the hills with you know big sharp turns and stuff, and my kids love driving it with me. If this had happened, imagine that that tire had wedged under that car, stopped that from moving, yet the right side kept spinning. It would have flipped that car around and flipped it over, likely over the edge of the road. If I'd had my kids with me, my wife, just myself, the result would have been disastrous. And I've seen photos of the aftermath of the same thing happening to other people. And fortunately, I know one person that did not live. So I'm very fortunate that that happened when it did and where it did. But in life, and the lesson I kind of learned from this is, one, somebody's looking out for me. And I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for that, though. But in life, these things happen. There's going to be bumps. There's going to be things that happen because sometimes we have design flaws, whether it's in our mindset, around maybe it's money, relationships, business. There's these things that might be there that eventually are going to cause something to happen. Uh, and this is what happened in, you know, to me in my car. But I've had it happen to me personally in my financial life as well. Just these flaws that I didn't, didn't know were there. But these challenges, these events, they show these things. They, they, they show them to us. And at that point in time, we can decide what to do. Now, because of my network here where I live, I had uh, met some people here recently. I made a couple of phone calls. I got a tow truck driver out there right off the bat to pick me up. It cost me almost nothing to get the car back to my house. And I got a uh, new actual um, and parts coming to my house, no cost at all, coming there just because of my network, because of who I know. Now, I've experienced the same thing in my own business and my own investing and my own mindset is that when something happens, it exposes these things, these kind of flaws. But I recognize that and I take action. I reach out to my network. I reach out to those people that I know and they help me to look at it differently. They help me to overcome this and to, and to go in the direction to learn from these things. And so that's really what I value. I value having an amazing network that I can reach out to. And when it comes to business, I've been so blessed to have an amazing network of people that I can reach out to when I have these challenges that I can say, hey, I need some help, or hey, I have an opportunity, how do I look at this, or hey, I have an investment, is this the right thing for me, um, or hey, I wanna start a business, how do I go about this, uh, who do I talk to, who's in their network, by the way, that they can teach me or, reach, or connect me to. And so we do this on a daily basis inside our private mastermind group here, and I love seeing the same thing because I see other people have challenges, just like with my car, I see people have challenges in their own lives, whether it's in business or relationships or investing. And yet when they're part of our group, all they got to do is reach out and we connect them to the experts, the advisors that help them take care of these kind of things, help them put the right things in place, look at opportunities and take action and thrive and really grow their, their life, their business and create that legacy they can be proud of. And I love doing that. And that's what I've built inside here is a massive network where we can actually plug you into these people, these experts, so that you can take massive action. And if something happens, guess what? We're here to help you, to help take care of you, to help you move forward. And so I want to invite you to a private call. We're going to see how we can help you to see if you're a fit and we're a fit for you. Because it goes both ways, by the way. It goes both ways. Because guess what? Just like my car, I'm now going to have a better vehicle. It's going to be safer now because of that network. Because of, hey, I found this thing that happened. But now that I have the people to reach out to, we're going to take care of it. And we're going to have a stronger car. But the same thing applies to your business and your life and your legacy. So click the link below or somewhere on this page, grab a spot, 
Let's hop on a call and let's see how we can help you and make sure that we are fit for you and you're fit for us. So with that, I look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.